Many people say that in order to make it big in Korean hip hop scene, you need to come out and show me the money or high school rapper. With almost no exposure yeah. to the mainstream media, however, this rapper sold out his world tour and became a trendsetter in less than two years after his debut album was released. The name of this Korean rapper is DPR Live. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Wine. So I've been gone for the past few months due to a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, but my favorite Korean artist, DPR Live, recently released a new album and we're in a lockdown with COVID-19, so it was the perfect timing to post a new video. I'm sure most of you guys know who DPR Live is, but you guys may not know his background or how he came up in the scene with his crew, so let's get right to it. DPR Live's legal Korean name is Tabin Hong. He initially started with the artist name Live, but later changed to DPR Live after starting the DPR crew, and also since the name Live was kind of confusing to people. Live moved to Guam with his family when he was 5 and came back to Korea in 2007 when he was in high school. While he was more comfortable in English, he said his Korean really improved during the time in his Korean army. This is interesting because while Live spent majority of his teen years and childhood in the US, he went to the Korean army as soon as he became an adult and he actually decided to become a rapper during his time in the Korean army. He released his first track Till I Die in 2015 after he came out of the army and this was about 2 years before he released his first album but yeah, even his first ever track was super lit so go listen to it. Anyways, Live released more work in 2016 with dope tracks like God Bless and Thirst, but his big breakthrough happened later when the famous Ng Freestyle, which he featured in, blew up after being chosen as YouTube's new commercial. While rapping alongside other talented rappers like Sick K, Punch Nello, Owen Overdose, and Flo Sick, Live left a huge impression to many listeners with his intro and catchy punchlines. With things starting to roll in for him, Live released his very first album, Coming To You Live, in March of 2017. And let me just tell you, I probably listened to this album at least 100 times at this point. The album had 7 tracks with crazy featuring from artists like Jay Park, Loco, Dean, and Crush, and this was really significant for a rookie artist who was relatively less known at the time. In an interview with Hypebeast Korea, Live said his first album was like a weather forecast since he wanted to illustrate his emotions like a weather. The first track Cheese and Wine was like when he first met a girl, the third track right here right now is like when he's in love with the person, and the fifth track Please is like the hurricane after the breakup. We all know how that feels like. Anyways, 5 of the 7 tracks in DPR Live's debut album had an amazing music video directed by Christian Yu, aka DPR Ian, and honestly, like the quality and the color of DPR team's music video just amplifies the audiovisual experience for Live's music. DPR's visual team also helped out direct Bobby, Mino, and Tam's music video as well, so I guess swag recognized swag. With the momentum DPR group gained through the Coming To You Live album, Lai released another EP called Her in the same year, and it absolutely exploded, especially with one of my favorite track of all time, Jasmine, gaining huge popularity with both Korean and international fans. His other tracks from his album, like Martini Blue and Text Me, also have very addictive sounds, and they actually made it to the Korean music charts which is very difficult for a hip-hop artist in Korea to do without the support of mainstream media like Show Me The Money. So Live had a very busy year in 2017, and on January of 2018, he featured in Suzy's first solo title album, Holiday, and you know you're getting big when you start featuring in one of the biggest K-pop idols out there. In March of 2018, Live released a collaborative track, Action, with the one and only Grey from AOMG, and he then released another track by himself called Playlist in June before starting his world tour. After this non-stop releases of super addicting tracks and music video, 
the DPR crew finally announced their world tour in August of 2018 and kicked it off in Vancouver, Canada. Now, I think the craziest part of all this is how fast DPR Live and the crew came up within just two years after releasing the debut album. Of course, the tracks and the visuals released by the DPR crew are flawless, but again, like selling a world tour with just one album and two EP is just nuts, you know? Like, I guarantee you, most of the people in the K hip hop scene did not see this young crew making it big and coming up so fast. I actually drove three hours to see the DPR concert out in LA and I sat in the last row of that huge venue since all the other tickets were sold out. But damn, like the atmosphere in the concert was alive. During the concert, Live mentioned how him and the crew started out in the basement of Korea just two years ago and also how they did not expect to be where they were at. But at the end of the show, when they started chanting DPR we gang gang, the crowd just went wild. After many concerts in multiple cities all over the world, Live ended his first world tour in Seoul on January of 2019 and went on a long break from music which he definitely deserved after all his grind. As a creative powerhouse, the DPR crew gave top quality audiovisual experience for the fans and I'm sure Live and Ian's aesthetics played quite a role in their rapid come up but at the end of the day, I think what separates the DPR team from other hip hop crews is the engagement and connection they try to build with the fans. Like instead of just talking about money and fame, DPR crew emphasize more on dream, passion, and building their vision with their supporters and I think that's what gets the global fans to be more engaged and invested in the DPR crew. After two years of long wait, the new album Is Anybody Out There has finally dropped and while it's different from the music that they released in the past, their new creatives definitely got me mesmerized. If you don't agree with me, try listening to the entire album at least 2-3 times and you'll feel what I feel. I don't know what their next tour is gonna be, but if you see me in their next gig in LA, come say hi. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video soon. Peace. Woo -woo.